Well, hello! Welcome to another Messiah message. Today we're going to talk about uh, AOC, uh, hatred, and burritos, <laughs> and immigrants, of course. So let's talk about, let's dive into the discussion. So some of you may have heard in the media that there's a Facebook group with 9,000 people, 90,000 people? Ugh, check the news, I don't know. <laughs> Nine people? <laughs> Nine billion people? Nine trillion people? I don't know. The numbers vary. <laughs> Basically, sending hatred against the immigrants and doing some really, really nasty, nasty things. Uh, people that say they're the border patrol. And so it leads us to questions like who's really caring about, you know, individuals and humanity in the planet? <laughs> You know, we call ourselves a Christian nation, but we have all these people. Now, clearly, all these people are atheists <laughs> or like they worship Satan. I didn't know there were that many Satan worshipers because only Satan worshipers would put some of that stuff. Not even Satan worshipers, I would say. I would say, um, I don't even know, like dumb people, because you realize there's analytics and it can find you and they'd be like, you're here. <laughs> exactly that's where you are <laughs> and this is what you like and this is your family and this is your friends <laughs> we know everything <laughs> so i don't understand why people would do that i think that there's i mean not me personally speaking there's sometimes that reactive element where you're angry about something like, <laughs> and then you're, in hindsight you're like <laughs> maybe i shouldn't have said that you know but some of these things it's like but i don't go that far you know, oftentimes it's like, oh, whoopee, I didn't like that hair that you had, you know, hairstyle, you should change it up, you know, something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I would never say that to whoopee, never in a billion years, hello, nurse, okay? So, uh, I'm just using an example. So back to hatred, back to AOC, back to burritos, back to immigrants. Um, the whole situation with immigrants is horrible. It's a horrible situation. Uh, as Christians, you, as people who worship Christ or have an affinity for Christ, we have to ask ourselves, what would Christ do? Now, Christ would be like, hey, come into my house, here's some food, I'll work extra hours, I'll call my dad, I was like, hey, I need more fish, you know, that kind of stuff. That's what Jesus would do. Jesus would see a need and Jesus would automatically run, was like, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? That is the Christ spirit. But we call ourselves a Christian nation, but we're not a Christian nation. Uh, we throw out these terms to AOC about burritos and things like that and about immigrants. Ultimately, and some of these people are like, one world, they're trying to combine everything. I was like, yeah, <laughs> hello, one world is the ultimate ideal. You know, so we were like, well, it's going to be military and robots. I was, like, I was like, no, not if we all love each other. <laughs> We don't need that. We don't even need police. If we all trust and love each other, we don't need militaries. We don't need police. We can just have science or evolution and growth and into other planets and love. We just have to get over that hump of hatred and judgment, right? We just gotta love unconditionally. Even, like even the bad stuff. Be like, I know that that's that's because that's that's God love. That is God loves the good and the bad inside a human being. People are like, what? No, he doesn't. I'm like, yeah, because God sees the whole story. So God goes like, I know your journey. I know where you're going. So I'm going to love the bad stuff because you wouldn't be the person you are if you didn't have the bad stuff that you have in between. Because that's, I said, and guess what? I said, I'm the bad stuff in the first place so you can learn. <gasps> Mind blown. <laughs> so all that stuff, you know, all that stuff. So unity, 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 unity. Trying however we can. We all do our missteps. We all fumble. For me, it's like, I want to be unified with you. Come to me. You know? And it's like, back off, dude. Back off. You're a little too much for me right now. And it's like, okay, give me some time. I'll chill. You know? All that stuff. And we all have our, you know, planets and where they are and corrections, Kabbalah. I cannot say that enough. I cannot say that enough. And interestingly enough, that's the card that was at the top. But let's do a quick little reading, right? Okay, let's do a quick little reading. Between you and I, you, me, you know, my subscribers, a quick little reading. What's our relationship like? What do you want? What does my dad want me to do for you? What do you to do for me? <laughs> All that stuff. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we're going to pick this card. And it is... <gasps> Looks can kill, protect from evil eye. 
Are you sending me the evil eyes? Don't send me the evil eyes. Because you know that it's a mirror and with me, you're magnified. <laughs> so you're like <laughs> I have to admit, I kind of get off on the whole, like, mirror spell thing. <laughs> when people try to send me hatred, it's kind of like, don't, you don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. It's like, this is magic. We're dealing with magic here. <laughs> I talk to angels and demons. But we won't talk about that. Because <laughs> it's all uh, angels and demons are all one race. Oh, mind blow. <laughs> yeah, they all have the same intention. Ultimately, what? <gasps> Mind blown. <laughs> Kabbalah. Some of you are like, what's going on with this guy? I was like, it's all right. It's all right. Even if you do send me judgment, I try to lessen the mirror effect that happens from you drawing more judgment into your life. I send you love. I send you absolute love. Like, I feel like, I feel bad for people that send me judgment. Ultimately, when I reach, I feel bad. I think that there's various level steps where I feel you know been like <gasps> you know but it's like ultimately I feel bad because it's a a it's a disconnection from a wisdom that I may gain from them and that they may gain from me if we try to reach a battle ground of love where we're battling for love and unity through discussion and honesty and acceptance um, and so that hurts but it also hurts because of what happens to them you know what I mean it just that really hurts uh, because I consider everybody my children. So it's like in this physical body being sent judgment with the path that I'm given to do what I do. It's like this weird balancing act, you know? But either way, <laughs> I want to send you all love. <laughs> I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful eternity.